Hello everyone, it's Jill from What Joe Wears, and today I have my own Stitch Fix unboxing. We'll see what's in here, I'm very excited. I love Stitch Fix Day. So I've been having a little bit of issue with stylist and styling and like not quite getting my style and I've been through several of them over the last mm, since fall really and I found one my last box and I did really like her I thought she did a great job uh, I think her name was Cass M um, previous to that they sent me a senior stylist and I felt like she was like older maybe she was picking a lot of like older styles for me more mature looking I guess and I'm 38 like I'm not young but I like to dress younger I guess not like a kid or anything but I like more like casual styles I like to kind of go with the trends and a little bit for the most part and so I wasn't quite getting that it just felt like an older vibe so Let's see who we have today. Hopefully cast M again. Um, it says, hello, Jill. Happy fix day and happy new year. Thanks so much for adding your request for this fix. I really wanted to find you an Aztec print cardigan and vest. So I did go just a couple dollars over 200 with the discount in order to grab you those items. Let me know how you like them. So I did put in my notes to them. They made a huge note of it on my main page that I don't like going over $200 with discount for my whole box. So they have been honoring that, I will say. Although I did get like a couple hundred dollar items in my last couple boxes, $100, not $200, not a couple hundred, you know what I mean. Okay, the Navy Honey Punch Cardigan is a versatile neutral in that longer style you like, where it with a white tee and jeans for an effortless casual look. Sounds good. The Jack by BB Dakota Vest has that contrast collar you were looking for and will wear well over a variety of tops and dresses. For your cozy sweater option, try the 41 Hawthorne Cashmere Blend V-neck in a classic cable knit. Finally, add a bit, of, bit more of color to your closet with the purple Brianna and M top and the yellow mixed by 41 Hawthorne knit. Enjoy Jill, XO, Jennifer not Cass M. Jennifer. Okay, well, let's see what's in here. Interesting that there's a new stylist again. So we'll go over pricing at the end. There is the bundle. I did ask for color too. I just want to add more color to my wardrobe. I used to wear black and gray all the time. Just want more variety and I feel more comfortable in colors now. I didn't used to, but starting to love them. Okay, first is this vest. This is by Jack by BB Dakota. It is not quite what I was looking for. Didn't really want this fuzzy, although this one is a little bit dressier than the last one she sent me or they sent me. So we'll see what it looks like. You can probably fold the collar over and not have it folded. It has like a um, like a knit material on the back. It's very soft. The front is like a suede. And I'm sure this is expensive. I feel like BB Dakota is always expensive. But I wanted something, I have this black dress and I don't feel comfortable just wearing the black dress. So I kind of wanted something to go over it, like dress it up a little, but also to like cover those areas that I don't want shown. Okay. Um, this must be the cardigan. It is by Honey Punch. So I did ask for a cardigan with like an Aztec type print on it. This is navy and it has like a little bit of like a beige it's not coming up on camera super well, but it's a little bit darker of a beige, I guess. And the bottom has a different contrasting print. The middle has a contrasting print. And then it has like a band at the bottom and the same band on the sleeve. It, 
it's soft. Looks like it's a little bit longer. So that looks cute. This is soft. This is by 41 Hawthorne. Oh, okay. So it's a V-neck cable knit sweater. So this sweater reminds me of 2000, like the year. So that was 20 years ago. And I had a best friend, I have a best friend, and I'm not knocking her because she was teeny tiny and she loved these sweaters. She had one of these sweaters in every color. And because she was thin and she's not chesty, um, <laughs> she wore these super well because this cable knit, it will suck to every part of you. So I will be curious to see what it looks like, but it reminds me of the year 2000 and my best friend. We'll try it on though. And I don't love pink, not my favorite color. This is pretty. This is by, mixed by 41 Hawthorne again. And it is like a mustard color. Oh, and it looks like it's a three quarter sleeve. Just like a really lightweight top. So that's cute, it's soft. And lastly, hmm, this is by Brenna and M. I don't love this pattern. I like purple. This is like a, a plum purple color. So it's kind of like a blousey top. V-neck, roll tab sleeve. I don't like when you roll the tabs up and the unfinished material is underneath. That drives me nuts. So I'm already not loving this. I know you can probably put the sleeves down and have just the finished part. It also looks like it would be a, real, a little bit wrinkly. So let's see what the fabric is. I'm guessing probably like a rayon. Yep, it's rayon. It feels nice, it's very soft, and I do have rayon tops, I will say, but I'm just not digging this pattern. I did ask for a floral, but I'm super picky about my florals. I'm picky about everything, let's be honest. <laughs> okay, so all tops. All right, I'm gonna do a try on. I'm gonna try to style these a little bit, and I will grab my black dress and put that vest over it too. So I will see you in a few. Okay, so here we have the purple top. It did come with the sleeve already down, so I just thought I would leave it like this so you could see the differences between the sleeve down and the sleeve roll tabbed. There is a button closure on this, and it's not like clingy to your wrist or anything. It's very flowy, which is nice. I don't hate this as much as I thought it would. I would. It's a great length. It kind of has like that rounded hem going, has a little bit longer in the back. And yeah, I just think if it were a different print, I would probably love this top. Looks cute with a little front tuck. I just put some black booties on, some darker rinsed jeans, and there it is. So it really does pay to kind of look at your style cards and style outfits sometimes because I would have never put this together. So it said to put this mustardy top, let me show you the color, with green cargo pants and leopard shoes, which I have both of. So I did get these shoes from Stitch Fix and they are Market and Spruce. I'll show you. Little loafers, aren't those cute? And I believe these pants are from Cabby, which is an online or like kind of home shopping like you can go to people's homes and look at the clothes, the cabbie clothes. So that's where these are from. And I think this is a pretty cute outfit, but I would have never paired these together. 
but I like it. My only question would probably be, how is this top going to wash? Does anyone have this top? Can you confirm? There is the actual length of it. But I do think I would probably kind of tuck it up. Okay, here is the sweater, the cable knit sweater. There's the ribbing and the color. It has long sleeves, it has a v-neck, and it feels exactly how I thought it would feel, which is like a little bit clingy. You can kind of see like my belt loops and stuff. I just, it's just not for me. I feel throwback right now. <laughs> it also said to pair with leopard shoes, so I did just put my jeans back on and my leopard shoes. So here's this one. It's okay, I don't hate it, but it's just not my style. Here's the cardigan. It feels a tiny bit big. I maybe would size down on this one because it's very roomy right here. But I don't think I love it. It's just too dark. Love that it has pockets. And I feel like it's always so hard to find things to wear with pattern. You'd have to wear specific things with it. And I really haven't been wearing cardigans this season for some reason. It's okay. And then here is the vest. I just put it over a little green top that I had. I don't even know if I'm going to put the dress on. It's just not, it's not me. Sorry if you hear noise. We're getting drywall today in our basement and they're loud sometimes. So it is very soft. I just don't, doesn't feel like me. Just not exactly what I'm looking for yet. I think it has a decent shape to it. I kind of want one where it's like no collar and then this part is reversed down at the bottom. Do you know what I mean? I've seen them like that before. It's almost like a waterfall effect, I guess, but like not. I don't know. <laughs> um, I did notice when I was putting this on that it has pockets on the inside, which are nice actually. Huh. Maybe they're, oh. They're on the outside. <laughs> I was like, okay, my hand went right through that, so that's not gonna work, but they're right here. You don't even notice them because they're in the seam so nicely. Okay, so that makes it even cuter that it does have pockets. Okay, so maybe I'll try it over the dress for you guys. All right, so it's pretty cute. I just wish that this wasn't so big. And I don't feel like you can really tuck it under really well. But this is a dress I had in mind for it. It's pretty form-fitting long sleeve black dress. It's fairly casual, although it does have this tiny little slit here, which I think is really cute, but this is what I was thinking. So like something to go over this dress. And I feel like we're getting closer. So this is a little more dressy. 
but I feel like it adds a lot of like a lot of bulk. I just fiddle with it so much. All right, let's go over pricing and recap. Okay, so I was looking at my style cards and this cute little dress is on here, which I kind of want. What is that dress? Whereas I think Jennifer did an okay job, I feel like she listened to my request pretty well. I still don't feel like my style is being nailed and I know it probably takes a few times, but there is a senior stylist that does the Chicks videos, Katie Benz. And girl, if you are listening to this, are you ready for me? Cause I think I might request you. I don't know if she's gonna be ready for me. <laughs> Oh, but hopefully, I know she watches my videos sometimes. Hopefully she understands my style a little bit more than these other people and we can get something going. Let's go over prices. The Mix by 41 Hawthorne Arnold three quarter sleeve top in mustard is $38. So that's this guy. And I don't know, it's a little thin and the three quarter sleeve at this time of year is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Um, I like the color though, and it's soft. I'm just wondering the wash and wear of this as well. So if you have this one, let me know. It's in a maybe pile. The Brenna and M Lemmy V-neck top in purple is $39. So we're off to a good, good start on pricing. That was this guy. So definitely not my taste in style or florals. Um, I did like the fit of this. Don't like the unfinishedness of that sleeve, although I probably would wear it down. So I just don't know if I need like dressy tops either. I'm kind of looking for more like casual, unique stuff. So that one's a no. The Jack by BB Dakota, Nina Wubby lined, Faux fur, I'm guessing. Faux suede vest in off white is $78. So we're getting there. It's dressier than my last one. It's so soft and it looked a lot better than I thought it was going to look but still not quite it. Too much bulk going on at the top, I think. And the price, unless I loved it, I might pay that, but mm, not this time. The Honey Punch Rivington Boho Graphic Cardigan in Navy is 64. I feel like this is again, like I said, one of those ones that like, you'd have to wear specific things under it, although, I did feel like when I had my dress on, I kind of popped it on real quick. If I had like a tunic or like a long tank and I wore it over like leggings, that might be kind of cute. Although it's navy. So like navy and black, I don't know. Fine line. That was 64 if I didn't say that. The 41 Hawthorne Kelly Cable Knit Pullover and Fuchsia from the year 2000 is $58. <laughs> so I remember my friend would go pretty sure to like Macy's and get these and pretty sure they were like 20 bucks. So it does feel nice. I will say it's so soft. Let's look at the material because it's so soft. Send me something else that's not cable knit in this soft material. It's acrylic polyamide cashmere. Oh, that's probably why it's super soft. And silk. Hmm. That's probably why it's $58 too. But mm, I can't do this color and I can't do the cable knit. 
stylus subtotal 277 buy all discount of 25% if you keep all five is 69.25 that's taken off your subtotal so my total would be 207.75 hitting it right there don't mind going over 200 a little bit but not when I don't love the pieces so it's kind of a bummer um okay so I have been doing paleo since December 15th and I'm going to do a video on it soon and why I decided to start that whole diet journey and it's pretty interesting and I hope that you like that video when I post it and you want to hear more about it because I would love to talk more about like what's going on and why I decided to do that so if you want to see more videos like that let me know and subscribe and hit that bell so when I do post that video soon you know when it pops up but it's something that's been on my mind obviously I did it over the holidays because I started December 15th and I'm gonna talk a lot about that and what's going on and how I'm feeling so and how I was feeling so <laughs> stay tuned for that we'll see you guys later